This is an introduction to pressurized gas valves and how to take care of them properly and how to use them properly. There are three specific valves. This one connects to the tank. This one allows the regulator to work, which is going to can go from tank pressure down to pressure that you can actually control. And this knob down here will actually allow you to release it into whatever device you want, for example, a balloon. Uh, so let's go through it. You'll notice that when you get started, this is closed and locked in position. This is opened all the way up. And this one is closed. Now, what is open and closed? Well, first off, one, when you open this, watch the valves and the gauges. You'll notice that when, the ga when I opened up this tank, this pressure started to read. But you'll notice that even if I open this up, no gas is coming out of it and there is no pressure change because right now, this valve is not allowing any of the gas to go from here to here. To allow that to happen, turn this knob and screw it in. And when you screw it in, you will notice that the pressure is now going to start to read over here. Once you notice that the pressure is reading over there, you can start draining it out of this container. And now you're draining it at a controlled or a regulated rate. So now let's say you go ahead and fill up your balloon or whatever it happens to be. You lock that off. Now you're done. What do you do to, sh to turn everything off? One, turn off the tank first. Two, make sure that this is open enough that it can actually bleed the valve, because right now there's still too much pressure inside of this portion. Open this all up, drain it, close it, and then reopen this so that way the gas, when this is open, is not just going to automatically come out. If you have any other questions, please ask someone you think knows how to use it.